about the next generation, when we think about the future for our children, it makes me think about that moment I became a mom. Y'all may remember this. You remember that moment that you first held your child in your arms? It was like a lightning strike hit me with love I had never felt before. And there was this innate instinct to take care of and provide for that baby girl. She's now six years old and in school, and when I think about that future for her and the world that she'll live in, both her success and those of the community and the great state around her, I could not be more passionate about following our great leader, Governor Abbott, on this mission to empower every single parent across the state of Texas. You see, when I think about empowering parents with school choice through education savings accounts, it comes down to one word, freedom, right? Right. Freedom. The freedom that every parent, regardless of their income, their zip code, the street they live on, the color of their skin, their socioeconomic status, the freedom that every parent has, that must have, to select the school that best serves their child. And it can be summed up in four key pillars to get us there. Number one, the first pillar of empowering parents with school choice is transparency. Every single parent across the state of Texas deserves to know what their child's being taught and why. Yep. No more of the divisiveness, the culture wars, the ideologies being pressed down from outside entities, administrators, and rogue teachers that decide that they have a right to indoctrinate our children. You know, I grew up at a time where we had a poster on the school wall at my elementary school, a great man. And I remember as I got older, I could read that poster, and it said, I have a dream that one day my four small children will live in a country where they are judged by the content of their character and not by the color of their skin. That's how y'all were raised, right? That's how every parent wants to see their child raised, to love their peers, to see them as friends, and grow up to live together in communities in harmony. We must have transparency into curriculum, programming, whatever is going on in our children's classroom. Number two, the second pillar after transparency is quality. Every single child across the state of Texas deserves a high quality education. Now, as Governor Abbott said, we have thousands of amazing schools, amazing teachers, amazing leaders in our public school system. But we would be remiss if we don't talk about those that are falling behind. You see, part of my job is to watch public education committee hearings at the Capitol. And I sat and watched this summer as the commissioner of TEA, the head of our public education system, stated in front of the committee of legislators that they did an internal audit across the state of Texas of our public school curriculum and found that only 19% of it is on grade level. 19%. And then we wonder why so many children are growing up and failing to launch. You see, the problem is, Too many people see too many kids and say, they can't learn it, so we're just not going to teach it. Our children are Texans. Our children are being raised by Texans who can pave the path, whether it's with business, in their faith community, in their communities, in their families. They can do the work, and we must give them a high-quality education to ensure that they're ready for success in life. So number one is transparency. Number two is high quality. Number three, respect. Respect for you and for me, mom and dad. Governor Abbott is leading this charge because he knows that you and I should be in charge. He knows that there is no bureaucrat, no elected official, no leader, no school official that can love your child like you do. 
that lightning strike of love never goes away. And we must be respected as the ultimate decision maker. You see, the problem is right now, the way the system is set up is if you don't like what's going on, if you don't think your child's getting a high quality education, if you don't think the school is aligning with your values, and you don't have the money to write a check to a private school, or get lucky enough to get a scholarship, or get off the charter school wait list, where 60,000 kids still wait year after year, if you're not one of those lucky ones, you're stuck. You're stuck attending a school that is dictated to you by the government based on where you live, not based on what's best for your child. Every parent should have the respect and the ability to select the school that best serves their child. And if that's not happening in your zoned school, then a parent must be able to select that school. You see, when we were in Tyler, Texas a few weeks ago, I, was, I'm t I told a story that I've heard many times. And it was about a mom who talks about respect. And she said, she came up to me afterwards and she said, Mandy, that's what happened to me. And let me tell you what happened. There was culture wars, part of the culture wars, inappropriate material being shown in her elementary child's classroom. And so she went to the teacher and said, excuse me, teacher, I don't want my child taught that. That's not part of reading, writing, or arithmetic. Can we just focus on the basics, please? And the teacher said, too bad. And so then the mom went to the principal and said, excuse me, I don't appreciate this teacher teaching this to my kid. I don't want that in the classroom. And the principal said, too bad. And then she went to the superintendent and she said, excuse me, I do not appreciate what's going on and they won't do anything about it. And the superintendent said, too bad. If you don't like it, go somewhere else. And she looked at me with tears streaming down her face at this point. And she said, I can't afford to go anywhere else unless Governor Abbott's education savings accounts pass. And then I can go somewhere else. Or, and then, at least they'll be afraid that I can go somewhere else. And as the governor said, there isn't a mass exodus of public schools. What empowering parents is all about is giving you and me back the power so that they listen to us, so that they respect us, so they focus on what we know our children need so they can be successful in life. Transparency, quality, and respect. And number four, the fourth pillar of empowering every parent is choice. Every single parent across the state of Texas, regardless of our skin color, our zip code, our socioeconomic status, or any other factor, we should be selecting the school that our child goes to. If that's a wonderful public school where you're happy and you're a part of the community, then that's fantastic. Count yourself blessed. But if it's not... If you're one of the thousands upon thousands of parents that have shown up night after night as the governor has led this charge, who's oftentimes walked up to us with tears in their eyes saying, please help me. If you are not in a school where you have transparency, quality, respect, you must be given a choice. And that is what empowering parents is about. And that is what an education savings account will do.